Ladies and gentlemen, round-based zombies is returning to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I am so, so excited for this. I did not expect this to be happening, honestly. I was expecting maybe something that's like similar to round-based to be added in the future, but fully just a round-based mode is like what I was dreaming of, essentially. I kept talking about in my prior videos, some ideas of what they can do to kind of make this mode more similar to round-based, but not, a, not like make a whole new round-based map, essentially. But it appears based on some leaks that round based is happening for this game in some way or another. There's also tons more leaks for COD 2024 zombies, and we're going to be going over all of that today. These leaks are coming from Hey I'm Alex on Twitter, and of course he is very reliable. He has said many things in the past that are quite reliable that do end up coming true. So I do trust this, and of course there's also actually some leaked images of some of the code from the actual game files itself. So it's kind of hard not to believe it. I will say I don't think this is a thousand percent confirmed just yet because if you do actually look at the code itself, they don't specifically use the words round based. Instead, they used RBZ, which of course could stand for round based zombies. And that's normally how people use that phrase, of course. But when I really started looking at this, I started thinking to myself, couldn't this also be Rebirth Zombies? And of course, we know we are going to be getting Rebirth Island as well as Fortune's Keep in Warzone which you can presume that those maps are also going to be coming to zombies as well. So I was thinking to myself, like, couldn't this just be for Rebirth? I don't really know exactly, but that would be kind of weird. Why would they use RBZ for Rebirth? You think they would just, you know, say maybe just like RZ or just for like Rebirth because it's one word. I mean, I know it's technically you can say you can use RBZ and it, could, it would make sense to be Rebirth Zombies. That's all I'm saying. But um, I don't know, Alex seems to believe it is round based and of course other people are talking about those rumors as well. And previously a lot of Call of Duty Zombies YouTubers were saying that something related to round based will be coming or at least they've been saying something to satisfy round based fans will be coming. So it makes me think there's definitely something coming. I don't think it's going to be like a full original map. Hell, maybe even it will be Rebirth Island itself, but it's going to be in a round based format, which I mean, essentially would be a Mob of the Dead remake at that point. But you know what I mean? Maybe they'll do something like that. I have no idea. But these leaks, I'm not going to show a picture of them just to avoid my you know video getting taken down. But it does say something along the lines of uh, round based zombies uh, time, well, RBZ. It doesn't like I said, it doesn't say round based zombies RBZ time between individual exfil spawns. Of course, we could still have exfils on some sort of a round based mode that doesn't have to only exist within Modern Warfare 3, the Operation Deadbolt thing. And it also says in RBZ how long the radio is active for. And then it shows, you know, it's, it's all code. It's all part of the code. So I'm not sure exactly if this confirms it a thousand percent. I just know this at least heavily implies that we might be getting some sort of a round based mode in the future. And then next, I want to talk about some Call of Duty 2024 leaks in terms of zombies. And these were actually really interesting. So it appears that there's going to be two launch maps for this game. Of course, it's going to be round based zombies. And the first launch map is apparently set in a city where there will be a bank, a church and police tape. So I guess there's I guess these are assets that they found within the game. And one of the assets is police tape. So, OK, uh, likely has a wire ascending similar to Mauer or Toten and has machines you can activate. So not very specific, but I mean, it just says it's set in a city. So we're going to be getting a city map for this game. Most likely, I wonder what city will be. I have no idea. There's plenty of cities in the world. It can really be any of them, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And second map is the one we already talked about before in a prior video, but it's a map with a ship and it has a deck cannon trap you can activate and you can set the angle of the trap itself. There's also an island next to the ship with an elevator that takes you to an underground prison and lab. So that honestly sounds a lot like Zetsubonoshima with a ship next to it. So that sounds really cool. But I hope the atmosphere of these maps are really unique and interesting. Most likely the maps are going to be set in the 90s because that's where the story is set. I don't think they're going to be doing much time traveling this game. I kind of hope they do. I would love to see some like time travel with different eras in this game because I think some of my favorite zombies games usually travel between different eras within the same game rather than just staying in the same time period. But at the very least, I hope they can make these maps feel very different, look very different, have really unique elements, kind of like Black Ops 3. Most of the maps in Black Ops 3 took place around the same time, but they felt so different, unique from each other, especially in terms of the color palette the bosses and all of that stuff. So this is exciting stuff, but there's also some other leaks. Um, uh, this is nothing crazy, but mystery boxes returning, pack bunch returning, large ammo boxes returning, and apparently there's dark ether field emitters as well returning. So cool. Um, you know, not against any of this. It's normal stuff, obviously. We also have the exfil returning, which some people were mad about because they thought this was going to automatically make the game very similar to Cold War. And unfortunately, I do think this game is going to be very, very similar to Cold War, which I, I say unfortunately because there's a lot of elements of it that I've, obviously I like Cold War. I think it's a solid zombies game. I just think there's so many elements to it that make it feel a little too much 
like not unique enough. It doesn't have enough personality to it. And I want to have more of its own feel rather than kind of taking elements from like Warzone and other modes. So hopefully it still feels like its own thing. It feels like zombies. But I do think having exfil is totally fine. That's a normal feature. It was a good feature. I don't really mind that returning. You don't have to use exfil. It's not like you're forced to use it. So just being an additional feature is totally fine to me. Um, the crafting and armor system will also return, which I, is fine as well. I didn't think that was a bad system. I didn't think it was an amazing system either. I thought it was just fine. But here's the really interesting thing. I'm going to make a whole separate video talking about this later on. But gobblegums will returning, or at least the gobblegum machine, something similar to it, will be returning in Black Ops 6. And I'm going to do a whole video going over like my thoughts and ideas for how they can implement a gobblegum system because I don't think it's going to be what people are expecting. It's not going to be Black Ops 3. It's not going to be like that whatsoever. You're not going to have, you know, liquid divinium that you put into a gambling machine that, you know, churns out random gobblegums and then you can buy them as well. They're not going to do that because the whole loot boxes, you know, random thing that they, they've stopped doing that for a while they've stopped doing supply drops so as long as they're not doing supply drops they're not going to be doing randomized things within the menu where you can purchase them they're just not going to do that like I, I wouldn't see them doing that unless it's like completely free and there's no way to purchase them but i wouldn't see that happening either i think it's going to be a sort of a system where you earn ethereum crystal through the game just like you could in cold war and you can use that ethereum crystal to purchase different gobble gums and it's going to give you a whole layout of every gobble gum in the game and you can purchase one at a time so for example let's say you earn 20 ethereum crystals in a game of zombies and then you bring those ethereum crystals to some sort of a gobble gum shop they could even like call it like dr monty's like gobble gum shop or something like that and you go there and it gives you a list of every single gobble gum and obviously the better ones cost more than the other ones and every time you purchase it it's just one purchase so you have like i said 20 ethereum crystals let's say Anywhere but here, let's say that one costs two Ethereum crystals. Let's say Perkaholic costs 10. So now you have the choice. Do you want to buy two Perkaholics or do you want to buy 10 different uh, Anywhere But Here's? So that would be really interesting. And I think that would be great because it would provide an endless grind for Ethereum crystals. One of my big problems with the Ethereum crystal system in Cold War is that it ends. You can get to a point where you're done and you, there's no more earning Ethereum crystals because you have upgraded everything in the game. So now the Ethereum crystal grind is pointless and has no effect on your game whatsoever. But in this system, it would be endless because every time you use a gobble gum, it goes away. Of course, it's how it worked in the prior games. And I think that'd be really cool here because again, it would just keep you endlessly grinding for Ethereum crystals and people could like save up their crystals, get a bunch, wait for like DLC gobble gums to come out so they can buy them as soon as they release. And you can just keep buying as many as you want within the shop. And I think that would be awesome. And they could also add Ethereum crystal bonuses in bundles. And I know that might sound crazy to some people like, oh, we don't want microtransactions. They're going to make some money somehow. They want to make money from zombies, most likely. This would be a great way for them to make money from zombies, where people can just buy Ethereum crystals straight up from the bundles and earn per uh, Perkaholics and all those good gobblegums even faster. But of course, people like us who just want to grind the game out and don't really care about buying them, they just want to get it for free, we have the opportunity to grind it ourselves as well. I think that would be a perfectly fine system and I would not mind that at all. And again, would be a way for them to make more money from zombies, which is a good thing because the more money they make from zombies, the better the product's going to be most likely in the future because there's going to actually be more budget put towards zombies if Activision knows they're making more money from it. So. That's my quick little idea for what the gobblegum system should be. Maybe I'll do a more extensive video talking about how it would actually go in depth. But that is it. That is all the leaks for COD 2024 zombies. Of course, we had the little leak about round based zombies possibly being in Modern Warfare 3. But regardless, I'm excited for all this. I'm definitely excited for the future of zombies. I just really, really hope they do end up making some really hard Easter eggs that have a lot of depth to them like what we saw back in Black Ops 3 and 4. I think it's my number one ask. And if I find out that those Easter eggs are going to have a lot of depth, I will be very happy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will see you all in my next one. Peace out.